Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will try to understand on the self plagiarism. In a pre precise manner, uh, we will see how you can define self plagiarism and what you need to take into consideration when we try to avoid self plagiarism. Because many of the time uh, we have seen you know queries related to uh, the self plagiarism while you know student or researcher they ask us about whether they can use the same context which they have published uh, let's say they are doing their you know master or phd and they have published a few paper whether they can use it in those paper in their you know thesis or not so let's uh, start and we'll try to you know discuss on those point or we'll discuss uh, some context so that uh, the doubt related to that particular context um, you know we'll try to resolve here so by looking into this particular document uh, this being uh, you know uh, developed by Turnitin they are talking about self plagiarism in a similar manner or they have defined the self plagiarism if we look into this particular document which has laid down by authenticate on this white paper related to this ethics on self plagiarism what they are talking about the self plagiarism is defined as a type of plagiarism in which the writer republishes a work in its entirely or reuses a portion of a previously published or written text while authoring a new work so let's say in a simpler way uh, writer x has published a work a and now the writer x has published another work of B and while they have he or she has published this work B he, he or she has uses most of the content from A part of it or let's say entire content of it so at that time it can now lead to self plagiarism now we'll not look into the whole content of this uh, this uh, I think it and turn it and I will uh, give those detail in the description section you can go through it in a precise manner we'll try to understand by looking into the public notice that has come up uh, in the year of 2020 uh, by UGC and again uh, I'll try to highlight this I'm being covering uh, let's say under this research and publication ethics and uh, you will find this topic in module 3 uh, even in module 2 also we have uh, you know uh, content related to plagiarism but um, again uh, as we are talking about different policies regulations so i thought of covering this topic in module 3 uh, i will give uh, the link of this research and publication in the i button so that you can view module 1 and 2 related videos as well so you'll find uh, all the context in a in a uh, serial manner so what exactly uh, you know UGC is talking about in this particular public notice uh, which has laid down in the year of 2020 so if we look into this they are talking about you know um, this Indian academic scenario and uh, the researcher that are involved and that too you know to ensure the credibility and quality of uh, the publication or the research that are going on and for that uh, they have to come up with regulation and in that uh, sequence they have already come up with a regulation UGC has come up with a regulation on the promotion of academic integrity and prevention on plagiarism in higher educational institution uh, that also I have prepared a video on this uh, which is there again in this uh, research and publication ethics playlist so this is about the uh, plagiarized work if somebody has uh, published and plagiarized then what sort of action will be taken or how you can able to you know uh, let's say avoid or what sort of awareness uh, you can you can look into or uh, a institution has to do all sort of thing has been discussed in that particular you know uh, regulation and again uh, in continuation of that initiative uh, in line to global standard uh, or let's say the ethical publishing that uh, we're talking about and uh, we need to look into COPE, the Committee on Publication Ethics and uh, then UGCS draws attention on the academic community to the following, you know, content related to self-plagiarism. So he, let's start, I will use another link. So, so first thing what they're talking about is like reproduction. Uh, this is what uh, you can say the definition of self-plagiarism when we talk about this. 
so this is what the reproduction in part or whole of one own you know previously published work without adequate citation or proper acknowledgement and claiming the most recent work as new or original for any academic advantage amount to text recycling also known as self plagiarism and it is not acceptable so this is what you know it is not acceptable again what is there you know if we if i remove this what is there to take into consideration when we talk about uh, let's say uh, how you can avoid that you see adequate citation and proper acknowledgement if you do that this is how you can able to avoid uh, you know consequences related to self plagiarism so you need to give proper citation of your own published work in your thesis while you are talking about you know the mtech or phd scholar i published their work and you know uh, they want to reuse it so you have to do it you have to you know cite it properly even you can use it in the footnote and in the acknowledgement clearly state uh, better you can you know get noc from the journal also they also they know that you are publishing those of work uh, during your phd time so you can you have to use it so if you get a uh, sort of noc from the you know publisher or journal then also it is uh, a you know good uh, kind of a uh, way or let's say you know process which uh, can uh, can be you know a safeguard for you people uh, to while you know uh, people let's say somebody has uh, talk about self plagiarism so you can say that you have already obtained noc and that also you can enclose in your report along with the citation along with the you know acknowledgement you can enclose or those sort of nocs from the journal or from the publisher so that you will be for will be you know safeguarded and this is what you know the definition when we are talking about and now let's say when we are talking about uh, the different uh, self plagiarism what exactly it is and what is tech text recycling and self plagiarism and what it includes the first thing is like uh, you know republishing the same paper that already published elsewhere and without due you know or full citation to that so that you have to do then publishing smaller or expurgated work from a longer or previous you know without due fall or full citation in the order to show a larger number of publication because you want to hide that you have already published and you want to increase your publication so you are doing a sort of thing so that also need to be avoided let me erase it so this this you have to take into consideration again you know yeah reusing the data already used in a published work or communicated for publication in a in another work without due or full citation so that is also you know fall under self plagiarism breaking off a longer or larger study into smaller section and publishing them as all together a new work without due and full citation so that is also on uh, salami slicing we have discussed which is again uh, i think i have discussed in the module 2 that you can look into and para uh, phrasing one uh, you know somebody your own work which already you have published and uh, there you are thinking that you have already paraphrased and you are not uh, giving any sort of citation or let's say uh, you are not making any referencing then also it will fall under self plagiarism so that also you have to take into consideration so the self citation another thing is that on citation self citation do not add any number or to the individual citation index or h index in global academia that you need to take into consideration many of the time uh, people they do cite their own work thinking to increase the h index or the citation count but as a, in a global academia uh, this will not be taken into consideration even the uh, by scoopers or if you see the web of science h index uh, it might be lesser uh, as compared to the google scholar h index so that also need to take into consideration so again 
वाइस चांसलर्स यू नो सिलेक्शन कमिटी देन स्क्रीनिंग कमिटी आई क्यू एस सी मेम्बर ऑल और यू नो डिफरेंट एक्सपर्ट इन्वॉल्व इन एकेडमी एकेडमी और यू नो एकेडमिक परफॉर्मेंस इवेल्युएशन दे नीड टू टेक ऑल दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ यू नो रेगुलेशन और नॉर्म्स इन टू कंसिडरेशन एंड ऑन दैट दे हैव टू डिसाइड वाइल दे दे टॉक अबाउट और वाइल दिस स्क्रूटनी और दे गो फॉर यू नो सम सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रोमोशन और सिलेक्शन और क्रेडिट अलॉटमेंट or let's say some sort of award um, for research degree you know they need to take all this sort of um, you know criteria into account and they need to evaluate the applicant uh, published work to ensure that the work being submitted for promotion or selection is not self plagiarized so if it is not self plagiarized then only you know due credit to be given to that particular student faculty or staff member involved in uh, uh, or any you know part of a higher educational institute or any university or any affiliated institute so this is what about self plagiarism if you have any sort of uh, doubt related to that, that you can reach out to me or you can write in the comment section as well and thank you for watching this particular video please do like and subscribe uh, i'll be covering this research and publication uh, ethics in a you know shorter duration uh, stay tuned thank you for watching